Hello, I'm Dr. John Daly, Chief Medical Officer of COLA. The Protecting Access to Medicare Act, otherwise known as PALMA, passed in 2014 by Congress, directed the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to gather data from clinical laboratories on what private payers reimburse for clinical laboratory testing in order to reevaluate the clinical laboratory fee schedule. CMS collected data and has used the collected data to develop and update the fee schedule for Medicare-approved laboratory tests, and it went into effect on January 1, 2018. Many in the laboratory and provider community consider, that, consider there to be significant data integrity issues with the fee schedule, most notably the retrospective nature of the data collection and the fact that 25% of the market, the hospital outreach segment, was not adequately represented in the data collected. In addition, a large majority of the data came from the two largest national laboratory providers. These large reference laboratories compete with each other to gain exclusive contracts with private payers, which serve to drive down the very private payer prices that were being reported to CMS. As a consequence, the, finer, the final Medicare rates for the most commonly performed tests overall represent significant cuts from the 2017 clinical laboratory fee schedule. When CMS released the preliminary fee schedule in September 2017 and requested comments from the public, COLA joined with many in the laboratory community in asking CMS to conduct market segment surveys including reference laboratories, physician office laboratories, independent laboratories, and hospital laboratories to validate and adjust the final Medicare payment amounts for laboratory services. We were joined by the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Family Physicians, the American College of Physicians, the American Osteopathic Association, and multiple other organizations. And these organizations stressed how the reduction of reimbursement would lead to greater referral of laboratory specimens with the resultant delays in diagnoses, misdiagnoses, loss of samples, and overall delays in turnaround time for laboratory results. COLA emphasized that Medicare patients in rural communities would be particularly hard hit. CMS received over 6,000 comments, and in November 2017, it released the final rates for the clinical laboratory fee schedule and these rates were largely unchanged from the preliminary document. In order to show the importance of physician office testing, in the spring and summer of 2017, COLA developed a new website, www.nearpatienttestingmatters.org, as an educational portal to highlight the importance of near patient testing. The portal has been instrumental in carrying the message to key members of Congress and regulators by the stakeholders. The website highlights important information about the value of near patient testing. In addition, talking points and vignettes are on the site with pointed examples of near patient testing and the value of the testing for rural Wyoming, Idaho, Michigan, Oklahoma, and Kentucky medical practices and we are very grateful to the physicians who participated in the development for the time they spent with us. The information has been invaluable in the advocacy effort of physician organizations, and this advocacy is continuing into 2018. We continue to collaborate with several impacted laboratory community stakeholders to develop further recommendations and strategy. Even though implementation has taken place, provider groups led by the American Medical Association continue to meet with various members on Capitol Hill 
emphasizing the need for near patient testing and the impact fee reduction will have on its availability. And we continue to push for a fix to the Palma final regulations as soon as possible.